Pastor Ketuku, you have an experience to share with us. <laughs> and I'm happy that it's a good one. Hello, Ketuku. Yeah. You're welcome to Ifoma Speaks TV. The program is Experience with Ifoma. My name is Ifoma Chibogo. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm good. And how is Enugu? He's fine. Okay, Chuku, you have an experience to share with us. A good one. I know you are oh. so excited. Okay, yeah. But before this new door opened, there were closed doors. We're going to talk about your field relationships, and then we'll talk about this new one. So tell us about okay. your field relationships. What happened? Okay, um, I had two failed relationships. The first one was uh, when I was doing my service here. I've never been in a relationship actually till I graduated and then started serving. Then I I would say what actually happened was that I was not really that developed and ready for relationships. Notwithstanding that I was already a graduate and all that. And um it was okay, it was with my childhood friend. We went to the same primary school, the same secondary school and we grew up almost together. And, you know, one thing led to another, you know, we just developed feelings for each other and uh started like that. But it didn't work out at the long run. She had to leave. It was painful. That was my first experience and also the first experience of break up. And it happened in the midst of so many things that I was doing at the same time. It left me almost scattered for one month. I was trying to gather myself together. And at the end we I was able to scale through and pick up from there and moved on. Then the second one, the second one happened, I was, okay, I, I was ready for it. I, at least I read some books, you know, prepared myself, okay, this is what I'm going to get into. When I got into the relationship, uh, we started getting to know ourselves, you know, studying each other. But in the process, I started discovering that there are actually some things that I might not be able to put up with. For instance, as little as it may look, someone that cannot really forgive and let go, and and it really weighed me down being in a relationship with someone that cannot really forgive and let go, and someone that you know always keeps bringing up the past and bringing up issues and issues it was looking more like you know fighting every day in the relationship was part of the joy of the relationship so every time i was all almost apologizing for what i did and what i didn't do and what i know and what i don't even know you know the situation that you 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 keep saying sorry i'm sorry and i'm sorry now became like a slogan a daily routine in the relationship Okay, so a relationship that was supposed to be enjoyed, you were enduring it. Yeah. What were your key takeaways from the two failed relationships? Okay, um, from the first one, I, I would say, I would want to advise people, don't really go into a relationship when you are not completely prepared for what you are going to take. Because it is, more serious when you jump from things to the relationship and you're like, ah, I'm not expecting this. Ah, why did you do this? You know, can you really be this kind of person? And you just start getting revelations of who you are really dealing with. It's deeper than just friendship. Then the second one, I was ready to forgive and make it work. I put in everything to make it work. Time and everything you can think of to make it work. But it was not just working. All right, and I'm sure you also learned to do some things differently. Yes, sir, I also learned. There were some things you must have learned to do differently on your part. Yeah. 
I'm sure you've sure. become a better person, maybe sure. more tolerant, maybe more loving, because right now we know that love is in the air. So when is this yeah. wedding? Well, on the 29th of this month. On the 29th of this month? Yeah. Okay, Chupu, you couldn't find a lady in Nigeria. You had to travel <laughs> across seven oceans and seven seas. <laughs> to go find love outside the shores of this country. Tell us about it. Okay, um, actually, she's a Nigerian. She's from Anambra. So, the okay. issue of I couldn't find someone from Nigeria <laughs> is, 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 is just the geographical location at that point. Okay, I went for a program, I uh, crusade at uh, Cameroon, Baminda, Cameroon, Nipitide. And in one of the days I was ministering, the first day I was ministering, she, she was with the uh, band section, and she was a backup leader for that day. So after the ministration, uh, I saw someone anyway, but that wasn't what I came there to do. So I just had to focus on what I came for. Hello? <laughs> I'm listening to you. Okay, so you went for a program, a conference. Yeah. In Cameroon. Yeah. And you had backup singers. No, I was ministering and I saw someone with the band. She was one of the backup singers. Okay, she was with the band, one of the yeah. backup singers. And yeah. you went to minister. Yeah. Okay, Chuku, so wait, wait, wait. Okay, Chuku, you went to minister. Your you, you eyes were roving to and fro while you were ministry. <laughs> you don't, don't mind you, me. You keep your eyes closed now. I know. I know you don't minister with your eyes closed. And okay. even the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains okay. favor of the Lord. I must say, she, she at that moment, was schooling also at Nambia Zikiwe University, Okra, although her parents reside at Cameroon. Okay. But you didn't see her so, in Nigeria, even though she was schooling here. I didn't do what? See her in Nigeria. No, I didn't meet her in Nigeria. You see, there is reward in labor, okay, Chuku. Can you imagine mm? that you went to do God's work outside the shores of this country? And God rewarded yeah. you. There is reward in labor, in working for God. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so what else would you like to tell us? What's different about this relationship? I, I think I've found my own woman. Okay, her love and passion for the things of God. Okay, and there's something that happened that year. Yeah. Should I tell you? Yes. Yes, please. Uh, uh, it's like stories. <laughs> okay, Chuku, why won't I like stories? This is experience with you, Foma. Tell me all the stories, okay. the good, the bad, the not so good, the not so bad. It's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. There's something that happened. Actually, you know, you know, I told you that while I was mentioning, I saw her and I decided to just, you know, focus and continue doing what I came there to do. Mm? Yes. Okay, so during that ministration, I actually heard God talk to me about it. And I was like, oh, that was why I just had to take my mind off it to focus on what I was doing because that wasn't what brought me there. It was the gospel that brought me there. And I just said, okay, God, fine. Later I prayed about it, fine. If it's your will, fine, it'll happen. And if it's not, if it's my mind telling me, at least let me do the work of God and get out of here. So later it happened and it was a confirmation. So, okay, Chupu. So, yeah. Okay, Chupu means God's share. Yeah. So we take it that you have got God's share of your yeah. own woman. Yeah. And Ajogu means warlord. Yeah. You have really fought this battle of love and you have conquered. Yeah, you can say that. Congratulations, okay, Chuku. Thank you so much. And um, from Ifama Speaks TV, 
We wish you all the best and a happy married life. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you for having me. That was Okechuku okay, Ajogu in Enugu. Hmm. Interesting experience. I am so happy for him because it's a good one. Join me on all my social media platforms, Ifama Chibogo, Ifama Speaks. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ifama Speaks TV. Until I bring you another episode of Experience with Ifama on Ifama Speaks TV, it's bye for now.